Welcome to Confessions Beyond the Food. I'm your host, Nancy Redland. Let's dig in and get inspired. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Welcome to my studio, Confessions Beyond the Food. Love Thank it. Thank you for having us. So happy to have you guys today. So, um, full disclosure, <laughs> we've tried this. How many times, ladies? This is... 27? No. Yeah, three, three times. This three full times. Yes. So third time has to be like, I mean, this has to be it. It has right? to work. If we have to do a fourth, like, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Each time we're like, wait, what do we talk about now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Deja vu. Did I just say that? Or no. Yeah, I know. It's going to be great. So I'm here today with um, Macy and Alex, and they are part of our creative team, more specifically the brand team. So you guys, tell us about yourself. You go first, Alex. <laughs> oh, you do the honors. You're so kind. <laughs> um, I am Alex. <laughs> I do inside sales and marketing and in the DFW area, and I am... Also a musician. Don't, <laughs> don't downplay it. She's a really good singer. Well, actually, and she, what instruments do you play? Guitar? Piano? Mm -hmm. Ukulele? A tambourine. little bit of harmonica. You know, rhythm is not my specialty, okay. but I can get away with it sometimes. Like the, I, I do a little shaker on stage sometimes. You're a dancer, too. Yes, I am. Y'all, she does all the things. Yeah. So, so cool. don't downplay it. She has a website. She has, <laughs> I mean, you have your own music. Like, she is really, really good. And she's part of a really famous band in um, the DFW, really north, whole, all of North yeah. Texas. So, it's pretty awesome. So, I, I love what I do. It's fun. So cool. So, Macy? Mine, oh, maybe I should have gone first. Oh, yeah, like, that oh, no. I don't sing. Um, hi, I'm Macy. And I, <laughs> um, I do sales and marketing here at W3. I've been here. I saw my LinkedIn that I've been here for five years and six months. That's crazy. That is that's weird. Crazy. Like I've been here longer than I was in college, and that's so weird to me. Like it, I can't wrap my mind around. Have you been through as much life here as you've been through, like at college? Oh, so like when I think back to like what I was like and where I was in life um, when I first started here, I was like, wow, oh my gosh, like so much has happened. I mean, I can't believe like we all went through COVID together and I mean, it's yeah, crazy. like five different lives Literally. just being at W3. When I first started here, I was living in a, in a studio apartment that was literally 330 square feet. What? Yeah, that's how tiny my apartment was when I first moved to Dallas. It's not illegal. No, I'm pretty sure it was a storage closet that they turned into. <laughs> they charged me for, but probably charged you yeah, like way more than I was ever at the charged. time. It was like nine hundred dollars. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's so affordable. Now looking back, I'm like, I can't believe I paid nine hundred dollars for a storage unit. Um, but yeah, so much. I can't believe I've been here that long. Crazy. Yeah. So. But Macy is a fellow Texas Aggie. Yep, I'm an Aggie. Yay. Woo. Giggum. Giggum, woo. All love being an Aggie. Me too. Oh, don't be jealous. Yeah. Alex okay. is over here. <laughs> don't hate. Congratulate. So <laughs> four years of my life. Like, I wish I could go back every day. Really? I loved it so much. I don't know. I think like I was like ready to get to the next chapter, but that's kind of my personality. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay, what's the next thing? So ready to move on. Yeah. No, I was devastated to leave. So, um, but you, I mean, lots has happened like since mm -hmm. you've, I mean, come to W3, you've gotten married and yeah, a whole new life. Like Macy, you started out not knowing what this job was. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I first got this job, I had no idea. Like, even still on my first day of work, I was like, wait, what am I doing? Like, I was so confused. And, like, I just had no clue that this industry, like, existed. It 
It's just crazy. And you had no idea what you were interviewing for because I, no. we literally did not give her a job description. No, no job description. I was like, I don't know what is going on. And I, I actually can't believe like I accepted the job with them. <laughs> like, I can't believe I was just like, okay, see you on Monday. Yeah, you pretty and much. And I was were. like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And then poor thing. So I was, um, I had just gotten through a big surgery. And so Macy had to come and like to my house and get trained, yep. um, in the first, um, six months. And Macy started out as a, you know, doing inside sales for us, which we had never had somebody do that. Like we, the reps, like that was our responsibility. We did all our quotes, we did all of our tracking and all the, and everything. And so it was so awesome to have Macy come in, even though you did it, you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like anything you did was helping us yeah. out in the beginning. Yeah. And we pretty much threw you to the wolves. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. I was like, I don't know what is going on. I mean, it's just like everything was worked out of my email inbox and just like out of the whole territory. <laughs> it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. This is wild. But I think that's how people learn. I think yeah. the best reps are the people that start out learning from the inside. Oh and my gosh. Absolutely. Yeah. Learning the inner workings and how we work. And then, yeah. and then you kind of, you know, like, I guess started to take over social for us. Mm -hmm. And I don't really remember how that happened, but it was just kind of like, I want to dabble in it. I had had experience in Canva um, and things like that. I had done social media in the past. So I was like, let me just try it out. And that helped me learn everything more too, because social media, you really have to be so strategic and like how you sell something, present something online. You really have to know the products and understand what you're talking about. And the brand. Yep. I swear that's a big way that I learned yeah. too, was starting with the marketing side from the get go and inside sales like that yep. in tandem. I feel like was yeah. a recipe for success because I learned so much, but I was also in the field too. Yeah. You guys were a little bit throwing me to the wolves, yeah. but I still had you who were, you were in my position at one mm -hmm. point. And so I like could call you for anything, yeah. but yeah. what's no, happening? Been there, done that. I get it. Yeah. yeah I, I think I called you like 10 times a day. As you should. I was always like, oh, gosh, I have to call her again. I have to. I don't know the answer. I don't know what to do. That's good. That's how you learn. Like, I literally can't imagine learning any other way. Yeah. But I just went straight into outside sales. Like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, that would be a lot. I've always said, like, I don't think I would ever want to bring somebody in for one month to just sit down and train. Like, yeah. because then you would just, I mean, you would probably retain, they say, like, maybe 20%. I mean, mm -hmm. because if you jam pack somebody's brain too much, I mean, it, they're just not going to have time to go out and apply it. Yeah. And I think that's um, been very instrumental in both of you guys being like, I mean, successful. And, you know, Alex, you've been here for a year now. Oh. So I hit the year mark. Yay! Yay! She I'm made official. it, guys. Time flies. <laughs> that's I'm official. We're so happy. And Alex started out with us. You also, too, didn't really know what you were getting into. Not at all. I had zero idea. I also didn't have a job description, <laughs> but <laughs> I did end up getting one afterwards. You're like, oh, yeah, I think we have to send you that. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I kind of just showed up and was like, sure. I was post-college, so I was like, I really want a job. But then when I just met you guys, it wasn't even a formal interview. I, it didn't feel like it with mm -hmm. you, but it then I realized I was like, oh, wait, I could kind of love this. I was like, I don't, I no longer just want a job. I want it with these women and I want this job. Oh, yeah. so but sweet. I really, I, cause I was pretty desperate for a job. Like I was like, I need to fill my time with something. But then when I met you guys, I was like, wow, this Aww. is, I, I literally do not want a different job. Aww, so we so felt great. the same way about you. I mean, Alice kind of came in like a trial, you know, you came in and, uh, just got to dip your toes in the sand and see if it was something you liked. And you really just, I mean, she came in here and she got down to business. I mean, she got, she worked, she never stops working. She's always doing something. I love it that way. Yeah. I don't operate yeah, any other so way. You're so proactive. Yeah. You're just like so proactive. Yes, you yes. are. 
I try. You just do it. You're just like, even sometimes it's something that like, even if you're doing something that I remember doing and I would hate doing it <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry that you have to do that, you know, or whatever. And you're like, no, that I'm here to do that. Like, this is my job and stuff. I'm like, you work. I want to be more like you. Oh my gosh. Like, you're just oh so gosh. good at that. But you are too, Macy. You came in and that was one thing. Like, you never know when you hire somebody if they're going to have the same work ethic mm -hmm. as like the other people on the team because everybody has to hustle um, at W3. And Macy was in it too. I mean, you got in there when, I mean, you just jumped in and helped out. You're always, can I help you? What can Aww. I do for you? She was so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, I said was. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, I, I played. I, I, play. I, I grew out of that. I was about to say, I don't even know who that girl is anymore. I don't either. Because oh. Macy was so sweet. She's so quiet. Well, I'm so not quiet. Yeah. But, yeah, very just reserved. Mm -hmm. You know, just sweet. Yeah. So, <laughs> Pre-food industry. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yes. Food that's, service industry. Sure. That's what the industry does to you guys. I uh -huh. mean, makes you tough, has thick skin. Actually, so. I did one. I came in here wanting, I was like, I want some thicker skin. Like my skin was, I, I still am a very sensitive person. And, but I was so incredibly sensitive. I'm like, I've got to toughen up a little bit. Like I've got to grow my skin out. Nearly yes. every day. I think that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, or not every day, but like. The first time I dropped a pan off to a chef and he was not happy to see me, yeah. I called Macy crying. <laughs> I was Aww. like, I know I need thicker skin, but my feelings are <laughs> <Aww. laughs> I And I'm like, girl, me and you are the same because I was the same way. But you just kind of grow. I really have. Like, I have become a little yeah. less sensitive. Literally, I'm time like, really it's not about help. me. Yeah. It is so about like how busy it was in the kitchen or there's so many other factors. Yeah. The more you like put yourself out there, the yeah. more you're just going to be like, whatever. I'm like, oh, that was a flop. Yeah, I will. Move on to the next. Like, I'll come just back and show you something better and you'll be happier or whatever. Yeah, it's juggle and high. Like, come back and be like, hello, you yeah, know? know, like, can I get you something to eat? Like, can I make something for you? Like, I don't want to buy everything from you. So, yeah. I mean, I think that that's one fun thing about the industry is that when you are out and calling on people, it's a very inviting, hospitable, you know, mm -hmm. most of the time, hospitable yeah. environment that you're in. And people are super creative and fun and mm -hmm. they like people that, you know, have the same, you know, characteristics and talents and so and and one thing I want to like back up for just one minute is you you're like oh I don't have anything you know on your creative side and that's yeah. so not true because Macy is she you do like a train to be a florist yeah I well I wouldn't really say florist so I have done some floral arrangements I love like I originally wanted to have a flower shop that's what I wanted to do but um, obviously that didn't work out. And, but I love doing that. And what else do I like doing? You make cookies, yeah. you decorate cookies. Um, you're a great writer. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I Thank you. I was like, there is something else I know, that I, I was do, like, but I can't remember. Oh, you're an amazing well, writer. Yeah, I do love writing. That's where it originally all started. I do love writing. I had a blog in college that I would post all my updates on. I'm not gonna tell y'all the name because it's still up there. It's around. We'll I'll figure it out and we'll bring it yeah. back. We'll put it on the thing. We'll put it on the description. Link in the description. Yeah. Did you know, did I tell you I had a blog? You did? Like, I, yeah, when blogs first came out. Yes. And I found oh it. Gosh. I found it two weeks ago. Like, I haven't been able to get into it for years. Oh, or my find gosh. It. Wait. I think I read it one time when, when I first started. Really? I swear. I think I did. Did you talk about your, like, journey through? Yes. Yes. I did. Yeah, I my fertility trial, trials. Yeah, I had a whole blog. And this is the first time hearing of this. Yeah. So I love a good blog. I wish blogs were more popular these days. I feel like they're not really. Yeah. But, so you know, writing. Macy's used a lot of her writing skills mm -hmm. in, you know, this job in writing even these podcast descriptions and, you know, our captions and when we're working on 
you know, big projects and um, we always bring Macy and oh, I need Macy to like proofread this and well, Tracy, to, Tracy, Tracy does proofread our stuff too. Yeah. She'll catch it. She'll, She'll catch, catch it all. It all. Yeah, she got like, it. Okay. I don't claim to be a good grammar, grammar person. <laughs> I don't play that part. My of it. punctuation might be off, oh but I write some pretty words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I used to, well, I went to college to be a teacher. That's what my degree is in. And I remember like being in class and we would have to do like, um, what is it, lesson planning? And I loved doing the writing part of it and like the design part of it. Like we would have to put together virtual field trips and stuff like that. I was obsessed with it. That's, that's all I cared about. The actual teaching children math and stuff, I'm like, oh, what? I have to do that? You can hang out with kids all I'm day. Like, I just want to put together little presentations and stuff. <laughs> but, yeah. And little did you know that she would be teaching oh, everybody no. in her little classroom all about, like, plates and plates. furniture and yep. banquet supplies and disposables. I know. Lots of correlations, actually. It really is. Actually, teachers do really well in this type of mm -hmm. job. So people that, so if you're listening and you're coming out of teaching, um, yep. you got it. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, you really can. You really can. And so, I mean, I, I mean, I was just telling you guys, we just had lunch and, um, that really any person can be a sales rep. I mean, mm -hmm. there's all different, like there's all different types of people. And so, and one thing I, that's the thing I'll keep on saying is I love the way our team comes together. Like everybody has different skill sets and we have our team, we have our company broken down into the brand department, the ops team and the sales team. And so these ladies are on the brand team and even just seeing you guys and Tracy all come together with different ideas from different perspectives is so cool so fun i know we really collaborate it's so much better to have like a team of people than just by yourself like that's where the magic, magic happens. happens yeah it really is where the magic happens yeah yeah it's like such a beautiful process it's so beautiful i'm it's gonna cry beautiful. i'm getting emotional yeah so before you get emotional macy um so i'm curious like what where do you guys go to get creative like how do you get in that creative zone how do i get in the zone I have a tried and true playlist that I always play, no matter where I am, if I have like my little AirPods or headphones, or like if I can just before a gig or something, if I'm about to perform and I'm like, oh, I'm just out of it, I can go listen to that playlist and I gotta get kind of some dance moves out. I gotta I gotta get in the groove. There's oh, a yeah, certain dance groove. Party. Oh, we're gonna have to do this and film this. It's so cute. No one can film me getting in the zone. But once I'm in the zone, I will bring you into my zone. I love it. <laughs> I hope I'm around. <laughs> Please come find me. It would be Don't so fun. Find me. I would be like, like, what are you doing? Nancy, I'm grooving. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. I would love that. Do you do that before you sing in front of thousands of people? <laughs> I have to. I have to. I have an alternate persona that I have to really do a mind shift. Yeah. So when you do our fun accents that we make you do for our different, oh, that's just natural, darling. That's just her. <laughs> that's just her. That's just me. Well, as a former thespian, I really appreciate it. So, <laughs> but so Macy, what about you? What do you do to get in your creative zone? Um, honestly, probably I thought of two things. One, I really like to go explore new coffee shops and stuff around town. I get into like a zone if I'm in like. If I have a really good latte and I'm like in a cute place with good seating and can really spread out my stuff. I love that. And then you kind of people watch and stuff like that. But along with that, honestly, I get in the zone when I'm like, um, really like scrolling on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. That's literally where I get my ideas. Like not from other people, but just I'll see something and then I'll be like, oh, I should do this and I'll like correlate it and stuff. Like, there's times where I want to do, like, a social media cleanse, and I'll be like, no, no phone stuff. And then I'm like, I have no inspiration. I have no creativity going on. Like, it really makes me so creative to have that kind of stuff. And I'm super into, like, pop culture. And I love just, like, I don't know. Just those things kind of, like, spark something in me where I just get super creative. 
That's so fun. I love it. So different ways, different strokes for different yeah. folks. So morning or night, when do your ideas pop into your head? Like, are you a morning person oh, no, 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 no. in the middle of the night? First thing, you know, oh, I'm a, I'm a night owl and I'll get really creative at night and I'll stay up to yep. be creative. Really? Yes. Yep. Mine's the night too. Like even sometimes if I'll have something that I need, like a, a project that we're working on or whatever, I'd rather do it like in the evening time, like if I'm watching TV or something, I just feel a lot more if I'm like comfortable on the couch or something and have the TV on. I just feel more creative. I feel kind of the opposite. I feel like when I'm watching TV, I'm like watching TV. Yeah. You know, I can't do two things at once. I mean, yeah. I don't know. My brain was just not wired that way, but I get really invested into all my reality. Yeah, TV. it has to be so, a TV show that I've seen. Like, like can be times. a background show. Yeah, you can't watch the Turkish um, soap opera no, without looking at the subtitles. subtitles. Yeah, absolutely. Do y'all do subtitles? Absolutely. Occasionally. Every time. Every, yeah. Sometimes I like to challenge myself. I try and figure out what they're <laughs> saying by their emotions. <laughs> Wait, do you do subtitles on Fun English? game to play. Do you do subtitles on English? Sometimes. I do it all the time. Like, I can't watch anything without subtitles. Really? Like, even... Yeah. Oh, you're like my sister. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I can't get... I feel like I get... And that's why, like, it depends on what I'm watching. Yeah, like, I, I, sometimes I have them on, sometimes I don't. Hmm. You guys have been working around us old people too long. <laughs> yeah. What? I can't see! Like, what? I, can't I swear you. I have bad hearing, though. No, I do, too. Oh, no, I have really bad hearing. I do, too. But, like, when I watch... I watch this Turkish... Uh, reality TV show. It was 160 episodes. Oh, my yes, that is gosh. dedication. It was dedication, and it was the most beautiful love story. And I had to watch the cap. I had to watch the captions because I wanted to hear their voice. You know, I didn't want to hear. Oh my gosh. I like hearing their voice. I don't like the dub over. Yeah. I think it's yeah. It, it never matches. Yeah. So, I guess back to marketing. Fun um, <laughs> Just some fun facts for y'all. Yeah. We like reality TV around yeah. here. So, if you need some inspo on that, we gotcha. So, um, I guess what is the most, like, fun thing, I guess you, like, like, fun part of your job? Immediately what comes to mind is helping create someone's vision and like putting it into real life like if they just broke ground and they want us to come be on site and see like show us okay this is where we need all our seating and we want to break it up and make it into different sections and then we want the the flatware to be kind of rustic like taking all those notes that they say putting it into an actual like vision board or a mood board and then having them come to the showroom and pick it out and see if it aligned with what they, mm -hmm. so just helping somebody bring a vision to life for yeah. a physical restaurant or like an actual concept. And you're like, and then you go back and you're like, well, they have those Churchill plates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so exciting. yeah. That's literally about, exactly what I was about to say is like the ending is the best part. Like when you go to a restaurant with your friends, like that's my favorite thing ever is if I go to a restaurant with my friends and I'm like, I still remember these plates and they're so cute. And it's just so cool to see that stuff and be like, oh yeah, I know the chef here or, you know, whatever. Like that. So, so. I'm so jealous of you guys because I miss those days in my twenties when, I mean, just calling on all the restaurants. And mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I, I don't get to do like as much of that anymore. And I mean, that was so fun. I mean, the, the chefs and all the, you know, staff, they become your friends yep. and, or they become your dads or, you know, whatever, like they exactly. want to give you fatherly advice and, you know, so tell me about your dating life when I was back then and what happened and, um, but it, that was probably my favorite part is taking my friends, yep. you know, to somewhere and the chef would send something out and, but now I'm just old news. I'm glad. Oh my um, gosh. No, you're not. No, you just have like owner boss duties. No, no. you literally know everyone. No, you I really don't. Do. I really no, don't. I, I mean, I tell Nancy this all the time. I go into places and they're like, is there a redhead that works there? And I'm like, 
oh my gosh, you know Nancy too? I'm like, who doesn't know Nancy around here? Well, I have been here 20 I years. Know. So. I mean, like, that's so impressive. Well, thanks. I mean, I got, I, I work the streets, people. Oh, yeah, I mean, you were out there for sure. I was out there. So, and, but I mean, honestly, it is so fun. And that's what I love about this industry is I was at, I don't know, it was somewhere recently and this guy was like, Nancy! And um, I looked over and it was somebody I literally hadn't seen since like 2002 or something. And so oh he gosh. still remembered me. I, I even had his email address in my phone. And so it's just so fun to run into people. And I think so that's funny. Yeah. Another fun part about what we do is like all the relationships that yeah. you make. And that literally happened the other day. Um, I had someone reach out to me. They came to the showroom and I was like, wait, like we've met before. I don't know. I didn't know how he had my information. And I was like, we've met before. And he's like, yeah, I remember like pre COVID and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, that was so long ago. So it's just crazy. Relationships are so fun. Yeah. They are really fun. So if you had to warn anybody that was thinking about getting into this industry, what would you warn them? Uh, maybe don't, don't choose Texas for oh. the Texas summers when you're oh, schlepping around. Oh, yeah, that makes sense now. <laughs> it gets so hot. And we have to, like... Move a whole buffet setup presentation in the middle of it. So maybe that's what I would warn it, warn someone and start to work out. Make sure literally. you are in tip top shape. <laughs> yeah, literally invest in some good summer work clothes. Yeah, maybe shoes. it's not the Texas summer. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it, no, is it's totally, so it is totally me. It's totally me in that situation. They're all like, oh, Nancy, let us help you. Come old lady. And I'm like, help me and then we're always like macy's really tall and so we're like macy yeah i'm like don't worry i'm coming yeah yeah no i i totally agree with you i'm not alex um i think probably it's not as easy as it looks i it's kind of my pet peeve when people think that it's so easy and i'm one of those people i used to think i was like oh when i was on the inside i would look at the outside people and be like that's so easy like they're just doing that, you know, whatever. And then when you're actually in it, you're like, whoa, whoa, this is, this is like real stuff out here. There's a lot of different factors. It's yes. not super easy. Like, oh, that's why they didn't <laughs> yeah. reply right back to me yeah. in five seconds. They were doing a whole bunch yeah. of other things. I'm like, okay, there's a lot going on. So yeah, I even, like, when I talk to my, like, friends and stuff about my job, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to get into it because it sounds really, I mean, it is really, really fun. But it sounds way more glamorous than sometimes the back end. It's complicated. Yeah. It's tricky. It is. For sure. It is tricky. But it's super fun to be with you guys. Like, y'all are, y'all bring such great energy and perspective. And I just love seeing W3 through your eyes. And so, and just oh, wow. seeing you guys carry the brand out and um, also transform it and bring it up to date. Because, you know, that's one thing you have to do with your branding is I, I know I get sometimes stuck in my head, like this is what it's got to be. But then they, you know, will say, hey, but look at it this way. And it's just like, oh my gosh, like yeah. that makes so much sense. Or I'll be like, that's stupid. And then not to their face. <laughs> I'm just what? kidding. I would never <laughs> tell you you're stupid, but oh, like, it's worse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, same to us. Yeah. Same and then everybody's good. like, oh my gosh, I love that post. And, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. and so, and then, but I would yeah. never say y'all are stupid, y'all are. No, oh, I get it. Well, marketing stuff and like, it's such a, like, you can be on brand and stuff, but people have so many different opinions. Like, even Alex and I, there's things where I'm like, I love this, and Alex might hate it. Or, you, vice versa so it's, it happens but then you know then the likes just keep coming in and you're like that was good and, you know, <laughs> yeah you were wrong yeah you were wrong, you were wrong. <laughs> old lady <laughs> <laughs> just watch no but that's something that larry talked about on your podcast was uh keeping things fresh but at the same time knowing what people are used to and like what they love mm -hmm. like when they go and dine at a restaurant 
they like they want the plate that they know, but you also have to keep it fresh and yep. on trend. Like that's that's you very difficult, times. especially for marketing or for yep. social media. Like you want to be on trend, but you also want to be starting the trends, mm -hmm. but you also want to stick true to your brand. That's awesome. And I think that, you know, there's so many different people now in generations, you know, watching this. It's not just marketing to one specific person. You're marketing to all different, you know, generations, all different backgrounds, all different positions. I mean, we don't just call on one, you know, yeah. just the chef. We call on everybody. I mean, everybody from the, from the GMs to the, um, to the culinary staff to, I mean, we could be working with, um, the facilities group I and mean, there's so many different departments. And so, um, I really commend you guys for being able to go out there and, um, and just like spread the W3 love and, 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 really help increase the brand awareness. And I, and I think it's really cool because I think, you know, you guys have really set the bar. Oh, really? It's true. Nice. It's true. I mean, y'all are always re-upping the game. And I think that's always fun. And I, it's always fun to like, say, I had this idea and then to get you guys' take on it. And you may have the same, or you may have something yeah. different or just a little bit different. And mm -hmm. it's so fun to see the final product yeah that is like one of back to being the funnest part of our job like it's such a blank slate we can do whatever we want and thinking of ideas all together and like executing it it's so fun because we can do literally anything you know? anything. anything so yeah. well great well uh, before you guys go i want to get y'all's confession oh no i didn't think i didn't think of <laughs> What? We've done this three times. We're on confessions <laughs> beyond the food. Okay, so do you confess something that has to, like... It could be whatever? anything. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be, like, about what we talked about. It could be, like, a... Your... A secret hobby. Um, okay, let me think. Something you do in your free time. It could be something emotional. I'm like a confession, like, but I think I've told you this. You can tell me. But that. I'll tell y'all. Um, a confession when I used to work in the showroom, some days, like, I would be completely alone. And, <laughs> same. <laughs> and, like, you know, you get like the 3 p.m. slump when you're like, I'm so <laughs> freaking tired. Like, I can't even sit straight in this chair. And we have a storage closet back there. And I would just go just lay down on the storage closet floor. I'm like, let me just set my alarm for like 30 minutes. And I would just lay there. And I'm just like, oh, this is so nice. I would do that like literally all the time. Gross, that carpet. I know. So the carpet's so gross. Nasty. I think some delivery people would come in and I'm like, hey, like, no worries. I'm just laying down for a second. No. I think one what? day I roasted a s'more. I was like, oh, I just need a little s'more. Tested out the s'more maker. You know, when you're alone in the showroom, sometimes it's a possibility. Did you ever, like, dance with John? Or that we have a mannequin. His name is John. I did there um, one time me and Maddie, a girl that used to work there, we tried on his clothes, the chef coats and pants. We were cleaning out stuff. We tried on the clothes. I am learning so much. I mean, so there's much. so much stuff we did in the showroom. But, yeah, laying on the floor is definitely my confession. I would do that all the time. Oh my gosh, no telling what you and Maddie got up to. Shout oh. out to Maddie. We Shout out, Maddie. Miss you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Alex? <laughs> How are you um, going to talk that way? I don't know. Uh, I could get a little more lax around here. <laughs> no, don't follow my influences. <laughs> kidding, kidding. <laughs> um, I think my confession, although we're in the food service industry, I cannot cook. I have a special pesto pasta that I can make, but that's about but it. But do you buy the pesto? I do. I do buy the pesto. That's just... What? <laughs> if she buys the pesto and just boils the pasta, that's <laughs> really easy. 
That's not easy. So for some people, yeah, that could be challenging. Thanks, and you know what, Alex? You're not the only one that's had this confession that has been in the industry. So no, no, um, I can't. I mean, what am I talking about? I can't. Yeah, cook. Basie, I don't even know. Yeah. Sorry, I jerk. <laughs> Um, all of our um, significant others cook for us. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. literally, when I try, I, I am, I am shoot from the yeah. kitchen. Anytime I cook, like my husband will come in and be like, "Oh, how's it going?" I'm like, "Get out." Then I'm like, "Forget it. I'm not cooking." Forget it. Yeah. I'm then done. I try and help a little bit, and you're like, "No, I was gonna do this on yeah. my own. Let me do it on my own. Fine, just do it yourself." Yeah. So, do you have a do you confess? Something every episode? No, I don't. Aww. Well, you don't this today, episode, you should confess something else. God, you're putting me on the spot, ladies. This is the third time we've recorded. <laughs> I never gave my confession. Wait, what were my confessions? I don't think we ever. I think you did better. something in the closet. Okay. You danced? <laughs> well, or you, did you dance in the closet or something? Is yes. That right? Yes. I dance everywhere. Okay. Well, something about, of closet, was it your outside. closet, your thing, Lacey? Okay. So speaking of closets, um, I am um, so excited to hear this. That's where I go to cry. Stop. Wait. Yeah. Like this, your closet at home. Break down, sob and cry in my, in my closet. <gasps> if I'm going to have a good cry, that's where I go. You're kidding. No. Is that your happy place? No, I hate going in my closet. I really? Hate my closet too. Really? Yeah. I don't know yeah. who I heard this from. What did you, I thought somebody said, but yeah, that's you like sit on the floor? Yeah, I mean I've had my I've had some really good cries in there. Do you bring a pillow? No, I just sit there and cry. Oh, I mean that's devastating. I don't cry that much. So when I cry, yeah, it's it like has to I cry. I mean it's like buckets. And so and it's really emotional. I know that's not I know that's terribly no, shocking to you. We were talking about closets. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. You haven't cried in this closet, though. No. No. I haven't cried. I don't think I've ever, maybe I've cried once in here, but I've actually cried in that closet. Oh, I've cried in here so many times. <laughs> yeah, I, used, I, I used to have a crying problem, but just have I told you I was sensitive. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Confession redo. I <laughs> cry at everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I cry at nothing. <laughs> I cry occasionally. Ooh, I feel like I'm in the middle. Steps. No, I'm making, I'm getting way better. And you know what? Crying is okay. It's okay. It's good. It's a good, healthy release, but it, it can be annoying though. Like sometimes, yes, it feels like a release and sometimes it like, okay, I needed to do that. But then other times I'm like in the middle of an argument and I'm like, I was just starting to get to a point and I just like, my emotions took over and like, yeah, I know sometimes it's like, you're not crying about anything. You're just like, I'm frustrated or you're overwhelmed or something. It just starts coming out your eyes and you're like, really? Just trying to talk here. I saw this post that was like, "How do lawyers argue without crying?" Yeah, I'm like, "That's that me." Great. Well, that's a great confession. Yeah, yeah. all of y'all's were great confessions. I have like five there. I know. <laughs> that's great. That's great. We have lots to confess, but save. Don't don't share anymore because we need them for future episodes. Um, for confessions beyond the food, but I'm so thankful. Hey y'all, round three. We're we're hoping if you made it with three. us through this episode, high five us. Yes, we made it. So that means it got published. So yep. until next time, we'll see you guys at Confessions Beyond the Food. Bye. 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 For more inspiration, follow our social media at W3Sales. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, all the things. We would love to connect with you.